What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Batman The Telltale series as you see right in front of you uh, video. In this one we're going to be starting a brand new chapter here on this game of course. In the last video we ended up finishing the first chapter so now we're going to be going into the second chapter. Which is pretty interesting to say the least because where we left off was pretty interesting uh, in the sense that now it appears that people hate not necessarily Batman but Bruce Wayne himself. Uh, due to some controversies with our parents and everything like that. So it's going to be very interesting what direction this game takes us. And I'm very, very excited to get into it. So if you're excited for this video, do me a huge, huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into this. is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. The Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and we're eager to know you. Vicky Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> this is Selena. That was a pretty interesting uh, recap that we had there. And that's partially the reason, well actually that is the reason why the people seem to hate us now. Turns out that our parents, Thomas and Martha Wayne, were involved in uh, crime syndicate stuff. Which is crazy. Can't be true, right? I don't know. I guess we'll find out here in a little bit. Get to the chopper. Wade Memorial Auditorium. Dent versus Hill. Is this is this Crime Alley? You don't have to do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. I guess so. Yep, Crime Alley. Damn, 5.30 in the morning? I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. Uh, something about mob I know money. you come here for solitude, Bruce. Oh, God. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's uh, also public and messy. This can't be true. Tell me. All of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. That's sad, man. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. Uh, 
I'm, uh, you kept you their secrets. Kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. Then try harder. Oh God, Bruce is in so much pain right now. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. The oh God. Father, Hamilton Hill and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. They worked together? Working with Falcone and Hill. I expected a regular accounting room, not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but this was his undoing. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. This is, this is I terrible. Hope you can forgive me. <sighs> We're still How family. Can I hold this against you. You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. I hope not. That's terrible, man. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known, too, too big. Yeah, um, there it was. He had enemies. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, that's a fair assumption. You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 uh, maybe years. Maybe it wasn't. You never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. There's no point in looking around now. It's been years. We're really gonna look? Oh, we're going down memory lane. I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? Kill him? The possibility is a frightening. Um. Ask him why. I'd only want to ask him one question. Why? My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? Might have been deeper than we expected. to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Um, graffiti? This is absolutely terrible, man. I can't believe it's true, though. Why would billionaires want to go through just want to an alleyway in the middle of the night? He thought he was invincible. Uh, Sadly, he was mistaken. It's hard to see him as criminal. I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. I feel so bad for him, dude. Um, hold on. There was something else. I guess that's it, huh? Theater. It's a long walk to the theater. I love that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. Well, that's nice. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. There goes that pearl necklace. It's gotta be something else, right? Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Nothing. Uh, there are 
considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? Can they really be criminals, though? I've never... I don't know if I can see them as a criminal. Oh, God. wallet I can't believe he was willing to kill a kid Bruce are you all right it wasn't a mug they were assassinated and Conline fell cold knows why That's terrible. That's a terrible... I can't believe they were involved in criminal activity. Bruce's parents, that is. I don't think there's been a Batman that tells this angle. Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you. This could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. And I appreciate and it. I get that hard, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Um. Look, I'm all for blind support. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's that's terrible. That's, that's what I said. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Dent, Mr. Wayne. Welcome to the GCPD. Thank you, Lieutenant. Now, ordinarily, we'd never let you in to see Falcone, but it must be nice to have a DA in your pocket, Mr. Wayne. Bend the rules whenever you need it. Uh, I won't make a hop. Oh, he's not in my I pocket. He's not in my pocket, Lieutenant. He always does what he thinks is right. Well, it's lucky your interests align. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, it was the Batman. Better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. I Rene, hope not. Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Good. Thanks, Thank Sergeant. you. <laughs> she just like Keep stares at Tony in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Uh, he's a hero. We're lucky to have him. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah. It's great to know he's out there watching over the city. This is all right. mind blowing, to be honest. You say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Oh, I gotta be careful because this could go so bad so fast. Episode 2 The Revenge
Damn, he really did get roughed up, didn't he? Children of Arkham. The hell? Bruce Wayne? <clears throat> you must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of uh, here in a week. We need to talk. Just like every other time they tried to put me away. We this time it's different, by the way. Tony. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth in here. Oh no, he's not gonna talk to us. You're your father's son. That's exactly yeah, why I'm here. That's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Uh... Tell me what you know. Did you have something to do with his death? Ah, so that's what this is really about. Eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. Oh, we're snap. Made. We're practically family. Oh, shut but the hell up, dude. figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. Um, I should have spelled it out. I'm nothing like you. you. not family. Falcone, I'm nothing like you. If you're anything like Thomas Wayne, then we're not so different. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Hell no. That could get me to some serious trouble. What are you doing, Bruce? Um. Shit. Well, I'm not gonna hurt him either. Oh, uh, fuck. All right. Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. Tender It'd be kiss. So easy. Give me the whole fire, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? Um, what kind of son did Thomas make? I'm not a murderer. Make? I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. I was a kid. Much better, kid. Thank you. Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha, she had the human touch. What the hell is that supposed you to mean? You got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah. You took well, her from me. I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. But you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone. He'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? Well, this you is getting can't interesting. Trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. The hell is your that supposed to be? That oh, what the fuck? They're waiting for you in hell. Is she on drugs? The bastard had to die. What the hell's going on here? Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! Oh my god. What the hell just happened? She just killed Falcone. We are in deep shit. I bought us some time, but not much. Or it's gonna get out sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our mm. grasp. This so, close, we were something was this up with her. Close. I don't. I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. Oh, it's a disgrace. A 
another officer gone rogue. No, she had like a this drug or something. Make any sense? She'd never do anything to hurt the department. <sighs> Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims, and now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Um. That details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Let's get the facts first. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. <sighs> the simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts. Like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, God. Christ. It's gonna get I bad. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. <sighs> what the hell happened, dude? She was no clearly on something. Says anything. I well, have dude. to know why she did this. This is terrible. <sighs> Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, She's I'm gonna definitely on something. Some suspicions of mine. It's probably that neurotoxin. Look at that, you can still see that there's something going on right there with her. RMC scan. The skin. Her veins. Still visible beneath her skin. All right, what was that other thing? The neck. She got hit with something right there. That doesn't look like blood. I'm telling you, it's some sort of a toxin. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. What, what do you remember? Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... They should be able to get that I from her blood samples, off. right? Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Oh, this is so heartbreaking, dude, because her career's over. I remember a sharp pain. It was an injection site on your neck. Then it just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was going to get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter uh, what. The reasons why... Did I you see anybody? They were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm. Guiding me. Like a parent with a child. What? The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Revolution? Cobblepot said something similar. That's true, huh? At the park? I'm so sorry, <laughs> Lieutenant. I'm letting you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about um. it. Now. I found needle marks. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Oh, God, this makes me sad for her. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! This is terrible, dude. Because that was our best friend, Wh Cobblepot. What are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories. 
About some kind of lockdown? Uh, uh I'm in a rush. I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? Um, you must have been back there when it happened. Where did you hear that? Where did you get that? So it's true? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Listen, I owe you for those files on Falcone. I got a lot of credit because of that story. Whatever's going on here, you can't afford to be associated with it. Let me help you. I mean, I, I could I know I could trust her. Print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just uh, give me some. I trust her. I trust her. The police sergeant, Renee Montoya. Wait, Sergeant Montoya? You didn't get this from me. I didn't think it was gonna go that way. I, I feel like a snitch doing it this way. I thought it was gonna be like good information. Like telling him that telling her that she was drugged, you know what I mean? Not that it was just, hey, by the way, a cop killed her. I feel like a snitch for doing it that way. I just wish you it showed a little bit more on the words. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found in the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to- That wasn't him. justice. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. Agreed. I hope he told you something before he was killed. No. Um, what did you learn from him? Uh, he said we were family. Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. <laughs> it wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. Um. Alright, dock sample. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. We're out of control. Okay. Now let's look at Montoya's this sample. This fine drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. But there should be cameras at the Both precinct. We should be able to stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Find out who's drugged her. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but dragging others to fight them for you. It could create chaos. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses. The things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. This could be extremely dangerous, man. If it gets out on a mass scale? Hasn't found anything yet? Oh, okay. So there's three drones. Let's look at this one first. Uh, would you find a- Oh, we're controlling it. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, nothing here. How do I know where the right place is? I guess I'm just gonna be clicking until I find something. Um, we'll find it eventually. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna be doing.
Come on. Maybe it's not even here. Oh wait, we found it. the hell's going on over there? All right, well, let's try to see this uh, this one. At least I know kind of what I'm doing. Okay, it's probably gonna be over here. No? All right, let's go around this way. Oh, there's something over here. Right here. Bring me her head. <laughs> Who's her? Both of them reference the female. All right, where's the last one? Uh oh, right there. All right, so what does that mean? Skyline Club. Oswald Cobblepot. The Skyline Club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold. Going to speak with him, Bruce. Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. Oh it's snap! The oh, it's time to get down with the pot, Cobblepot. He's already taken over. Look at him. He wants peace. Who the hell's that guy? The blue dude. Oh god. So we gotta take this dude out, don't we? Ow! You lot, come take out his office. Let's go. You can help me. Who is that guy? Let him go. Batman! It's about time. You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. I said let him I go. I said let him go. You hear that, Rowling? That sounded like an order. It That'll was. Crush him. Now, now. Have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? Duh. We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pump on live TV. No, I didn't. If you were truly the defender of this city. You'd have finished the job yourself. And did it. Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone. They deserve to be stomped out. Uh, you went too far. No. You don't decide who lives and who dies. That's not justice. If I was bloody well satisfied, isn't it? As nope. a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. Um... Yeah, you're Oswald the Oswald Cobblepot. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? Gotta admit, you've got flair. <laughs> Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. Do you? We both want the same kinds of things. I don't think Me we do. People, we've got big plans for Gotham. Who's this guy talking to? They found Catwoman. What oh, snap. With her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So that's who oh, she was working with. Sorry, this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay and watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Oh name. my God, he knows his, her name. <laughs> Let's go. Dunskis. Ow. 
Whoa, that was a close one. Come on, baby. Bar stools are us. Ow. Let's go. Got him. Where'd he go? He's gone. He was gone really fast. Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. Oh, this is going to be bad. Alright guys, we're gonna have to leave it right here right now. I know this is kind of a short video uh, in comparison to the last couple that we've had, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to cut it right now, mainly because of the length of this specific chapter. Uh, so there's that. I cannot wait to find out what's gonna happen with uh, Selena Kyle aka Catwoman. I like Catwoman a lot actually, and this is gonna be very very big, so I'm gonna do whatever I can to protect her even though she doesn't really need our protecting but me and her working together usually results to some pretty badass stuff so there's that if you enjoyed this video though do me a huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said catch you guys in the next one deuces